Hello everyone, back with me again Dennis Wang. I have here with me Frozen Upgrade Kit for Sonic Mini 4K. It comes with the new T-plate or build arm, some screws, the new stepper motor with lead screw, and guide block and rail. Several months ago, I posted video on how I managed to fix my wobble lines with the help of high wind guide block and rail. So is this upgrade kit any good? Let's test it. Before I continue with the assembly process, let's have a quick comparison for the guide block. This is the original guide block from old batch Sonic Mini 4K. This is high wind that I used to fix my wobble lines. And this is from Frozen Upgrade Kit. It does feel as smooth as high wind, although not as quiet as high wind. At least it is not as noisy as the original. This is much more quiet. And this is, looks promising. So I just finished installing my upgrade kit but I cannot stand the humming sound from the stepper motor. Uh, definitely this is a stronger stepper motor so I think I will install this damper to my stepper motor. Hopefully the humming noise will become much more quiet and we will see the result. I have installed the damper, although it is not super quiet, but the humming sound 
is much more friendly to my ear now. I have finished assemble the upgrade kit with Dapper and the purpose of this upgrade kit is to 1. get rid of wobble lines and 2. get rid of the built arm or T-plate flexing and back when this upgrade kit first came out I read in Facebook group post or comment some people complain that the T-plate or built arm no longer flex but the flexing is transferred to the Z tower causing it to lean during lifting especially on bottom layers where the peeling force is the highest and I just finished leveling my build plate and I want to check the belt leveling by print full plate this square object and I'm showing you guys here the real time print during bottom exposure because I want to stay unbiased and show real tests not what I think or feel or any theories without fact to prove it I am printing at layer height 0.05 millimeters, bottom exposure 20 seconds, three bottom layers, <coughs> sorry, and I am using four months old FEP, sorry, I mean four months old NFEP, uh, I am too lazy to change to new NFEP, <coughs> sorry, no, for here I am using old NFEP to see how bad the peeling force, considering old NFEP or F. EP have degraded peel off capability compared to new field. And what do you guys see? Is there any T plate flexing or Z tower leaning? Let me know in the comment section. Now I have here the print result for stability torture test on frozen upgrade kit and it's a good thing that I always keep all my test print and this is the very first stability torture test I done on my Sonic Mini 4K this is even before I fixed the wobble lines with high wind guide block and rail and you could see the wobble lines here especially facing the x-axis and when I review the footage, I could see the whole Z tower leaning during bottom exposure. But how bad does it affect the print result? And this is the first stability torture test after upgrade kit. I have bad print lines here because I forgot to loop the lead screw. This is the Y and this is the X axis. And after I loop the lead screw, Y and X, everything is looking good. And then I did this test here. On the left, print with anti-aliasing image bird 2 and on the right, without anti-aliasing. I could see no wobble lines. And for the very last print, I print this model from Anycubic. Everything is looking very good, but I think I will scale it bigger, which I did. This is one and a half time bigger, so we could see is there any wobble lines or any bad lines from the whole flexing Z tower or anything that flex on the printer. So what do you guys think for this frozen upgrade kit for Sonic Mini 4K? Does it worth it? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you like this video, kindly consider to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my channel directly, you could check my Patreon link in video description. Thank you for watching. Thank you Mr. Prince and Sanford Harty for becoming my patron.